So we pretty much know everything we need to know about the builder. What I'm about to tell you is something you should be thinking about before you even make your build. There are three different routes you can go when making your build in 2K25. You can go straight for those legend badges. Now, I don't think this is a terrible idea. The first few weeks or even month or two of 2K, you're gonna be absolutely dominant at whatever you choose. But as you can see, it costs a lot just to get those legend badges. So if you're the type of person that doesn't want to do everything on the court, just really be good at two things at most, then this is the route you should take. I will eventually make a build like this. Just go straight for those legend badges and be absolutely elite at whatever I choose. I plan on doing a couple. Not sure which category I want, but I definitely plan on doing this in the future. Now the second route you can take is planning for legend badges. So what you're gonna do is you're going to have to make your build within range of a legend badge. Now with the example we see here, you can see that driving layup goes up to a 99, which give you layup mix master legend. But as you can see, if you put a 95 driving layup, you'll be a 78 overall, but you'll actually have less than a 78 overall because they brought it up to 99 and just lowered the driving layup. So we're looking at a possible 75, 74 overall. Then you just apply your cap breakers to the category and then you'll reach that legend badge. I'll have to make a separate video, I think on how how the best way to make a build i'm not going to suggest any builds but i there's strategies this year to when it comes to making a build that i, I think is interesting lastly you could just say forget the legend badges forget everything i'm just going to make my build how i made it in 2k24 there is an upside to this it's less things to worry about it's less things to think about and you'll probably have a much easier build experience and with the max plus one badge boost you're pretty much don't even have to think about badges you just apply them to the badges that you like or use the most and you can get legend that way or you know get a gold or hall of fame badge and you're pretty much set not much to think about so we have the badge list already and i'm pretty sure you already know what kind of build you're going to make so it's just a matter of choosing which route you want to take when you make that build 